Hey guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. I did um, an unboxing off camera of a few items from Wish. Um, I got a new power bank case, which is obviously empty, and I will be adding those 18 <clears throat> those 18 650 batteries that I uh, uh, recy recycled from my brother's old vacuum cleaner, and I recharged each one single singly. <laughs> And uh, I'll be putting those in, and then I'll have another lithium power pack for the tiny house. And this one is a USB device with a switch and heat levels, and it comes with eight little heating pads all off of one connection. They're fairly small heating pads, but they give you a lot of wire, so you can go all over the place with them. Uh, these were the ones that I talked in my previous video about. I had a just a just a like a cloth size pad that was a heating pad, and it worked pretty well. And this was the other um, one that I ordered. So this has actually temperature control. There's three different modes. This turns different colors. This little switch here, you can see it. One, two, three. Once I plug it in, but I'll give all this stuff a try when I'm over at the trailer. So we got those two items, and then uh, another item that we got at the local Home Depot, guys, is, sorry about the bad camera angle here, picked this up, 20 foot long, 4 gauge copper wire, for less than $20, it was on for $15. And then, plus, once the taxes kick in for me over here in Canada, it comes to about 18 bucks. So what I did, um, since I really don't need the clamps on the booster cables, I removed them. And I'll show you that. Wow, that one's on there. If I can get into this box again. Man, maybe not. Ugh. Hold on, I'm going to use this DC jack for a minute. There we go. <laughs> Just needed something a little narrow to get in there, so we'll open this guy up. So, 20 foot long. And... I went all the way up to the clamps where they were held and I broke off the clamps and saved us basically almost 100% of the wire. So we got a good 20 feet of 4 gauge. That's some nice heavy gauge cable. Um, not enough, like you want zero gauge for your off grid batteries and inverters and stuff. So maybe off the wind turbine I can use this. Um, so there we go, sweet, sweet deal. That was the Husky special at Home Depot there. So, pretty cool. Hey guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. Um, just warming the place up. It's a fair bit chilly in here, 36 degrees Fahrenheit inside. I don't know the outside temperature because the batteries out there at the transmitter are dead again. Brutal winter. Anyway, you guys remember me salvaging some lithium ion batteries 18650s out of some devices I had around and from my brother's uh, vacuum cleaner so what do you do with these things once they're salvaged obviously I labeled the positive end compared to the negative end with some red tape well on wish they sell these power banks that are built for 18650s. Now I only have four, but you can still put even just one battery in here. But uh, these will do, they even make uh, up to eight, I believe, is the largest they make. And uh, so I'm gonna take these batteries down here, tilt the camera down, put them inside the power bank, and go from there. Now. It's labeled here, all the positives are at the top, all the negatives are at the bottom. So they have it in a parallel circuit. And uh, 
Now this, there's a couple springs here that got knocked out of their uh, place in shipping. There's little uh, grooves uh, that they just sit in. Holds the metal there, so I just fix those. So we'll go ahead, we'll put some batteries in, just like you would any TV remote at home or anything like that. And there we go. So, I, this is a six uh, a sixer because I I didn't know uh, exactly um, at the time how many batteries I would get, so I just went with the smaller one, smaller setup. Now there's a button here. Uh, you got to be careful that it matches up with. Uh, let me zoom in. There's a little button right here at the circuit. So you want to make sure it stays in contact right there. So now these cases can be very tricky. Um, it's such a tight fit on these things that uh, I don't know. Uh, I've seen worse models than this though that have little uh, hook hook type connections that are super hard to put together. But this one doesn't seem to be too bad. This one's fairly basic, so just want to squeeze this side's in. This side is going to be the problem area. Ooh, geez, that was loud. Well, that's good enough for now. So let's turn. Let's hit the button. We have power. It says the battery is half full, but that's probably because I only got uh, four batteries in there. So I'm going to hold on to this for right now, guys, and I'll be back to you to show you what I'm going to use it on. Alrighty, guys, so I took the planner down and I just brought it outside outside the door and my handy dandy nail out here I got the uh, right there it's hanging the uh, hanging the unit I guess and down here is all the dead stuff that I took out the old spider plants and what I did was I spaced out each compartment now so we're gonna have a plant here we're gonna skip one have another plant skip plant skip you get the picture and then what I did was I took I had some stones in there there's still a few but that's I took the majority out down there and then I added some peat moss from my composting toilet collection now this is fresh peat peat moss it's not moss out of the toilet guys so <laughs> or anything like that so I know that's we're gonna hit, hear those comments but uh, uh there you go so that and that coating on there is that plastic dip that I coated the interior of this felt with to make it waterproof because these are not waterproof guys when you buy them you have to coat it so the moisture stays where you want it to and so what I'll be doing uh, when it warms up a bit I'm going to transplant some baby spider plants uh, just one per pouch uh, one per pouch ignoring the uh, the, the the ones that are skipped obviously because I can't put up fill this whole thing up because all the top one will end up killing this one and it cascades effect so you got to have room for the leaves to come down to here at least so that's why you skip one um, so I'll have a total of one two three four plants which is plenty for the tiny house pretty sweet <laughs> 